Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. Ojambo.com has an article about HTML page jumps using the ID anchor. The link is ojambo.com slash HTML5 hyphen page hyphen jump hyphen ID hyphen anchor. As usual, all the code and source code information will be found at ojambo.com. You can expand the source to download and follow along with your favorite uh, HTML editor and browser now this if you ever need help with computer programming or you need something to create web or mobile applications you can always visit ojambo services.com that's o j a m b o s e r v i c e s dot com in the toronto ontario canada area now let's begin the tutorial so i'm going to create a simple html5 file um, it doesn't have to be HTML5, but it will work in the old uh, HTML4 and below. So, what I'll do is I'll create an HTML5 compatible file uh, to basically the first one will be page one. Basically, this will be the one where we'll jump to the second page, which will be jump two. Change that to two, so we'll be able to track what we're doing then what I'll do is I will basically we're using anchor tags so basically we use the href and we use the number sign or number symbol sign to jump to the specific sessions on, on, the, on a specific page in this example is section 3 which we'll create later then uh, I'm going to create section one, which will be where we'll jump to from uh, page two. And I'll just keep the name here so we can keep track of where we're jumping to. Zoom in here so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay, so the what I need to do is I need to create a bunch of filler text and resize the browser just to show that it does work. So most of this information there, it doesn't really, I've already repeated it. So the most important part here is section three. This is where on the same page, you can jump straight to uh, where the anchor tag is, which is the AID section three. We create the first paragraph. And we can just put in uh, here, we're gonna jump to the uh, second page. And at the specific session or sec second page, you should be section four. We haven't created that yet. We'll create it when we go to the page two. And then we have page four, which is just filler text. That's it. Now we'll go to page two. What we'll do first is we'll create uh, an anchor tag, which will let us jump back to page one, section one. Once again, you'll be able to see this uh, because I'm going to resize the browser window so you would notice it would one jump right to the top of the page jump right to this specified section and uh, i'm just changing this section you notice the it doesn't have any anchor tags the reason for that is so that we it's different from the first html file and section four this is where we will jump to from the first page and basically in HTML5, uh, the name attribute does not does not work in the draft version as of spring 2013. So you can you can use the ID attribute as a replacement for the page jumps. It works very fine. So let's go test this in a resized browser window. As you can see, you can jump to different sections in the same page or different. Uh, sections on a specific page uh, that's not an error I mean it's just a little error there but it does work so I'll just rename this to page 2 just so you can see that when I it's page 2 and that's page 1 so it does the jumping does work I hope you find this information useful the tutorial can be found at ojambo.com please visit and leave feedback